This episode is presented by Supercuts. It's not just any haircut, it's Supercuts. After Avengers Endgame broke the multiverse, WandaVision broke the multiverse. Oh God, you don't know what you've done. What if broke the multiverse? Loki broke the multiverse. Spider-Man broke, you you see where I'm going with this. (laughs) Doctor Strange will break the multiverse again in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Get ready for a spectacular sequel full of gore that would shock a 13-year-old raised without internet. Scary monsters like, uh, bees. And the creeping feeling of dread that Marvel doesn't know what to do with the X-Men or Fantastic Four. Should we be concerned? I'm kind of starting to get concerned. Boner. homeopathic Iron Man returns, and no matter what he says, I'm happy. He's sad now. I am happy. You sleep next to an open laptop. You're not fooling anybody. Catch up with the Sorcerer Supreme, regional assistant manager, who was once as strong as Thanos, but lately is weaker than math. Math! And watch his streak of L's continue as he's outworked by his own cape. tries to make rage happen. It was never gonna work out between us. It's not gonna happen. I love you in every universe. And dies for the infinity of time. (laughs) See, this is why my top three Doctor Strange movies are Avengers 3, Spider-Man 3, and Thor 3. Welcome back, franchise favorites like Wong, and, okay, basically just Wong. I, Baron Karl Mordor. Who? Which is why Marvel had to call their mommy. I'm a mother. When you last saw her, Wanda Maximoff was trapped in classic sitcoms, working her way through complex emotions like grief and acceptance. Now, her character is trapped in a Hallmark movie, working her way through questions like, women do be acting crazy though sometimes, right fellas? Watch the Scarlet Witch turn full wicked off camera and try to burn down the multiverse in a single-minded search for her made-up children that she won't shut up about. My children. My children. As I dream of them. My boys. Rebellion, and Tommy. I just want my boys. Really? Tommy. Why can't you just be a normal white lady and get a rescue dog? Or save your dead husband? You remember him? I blew a hole through the head of the man I loved. Mm-hmm. One of the all-time great comic book legends has returned, Sam Raimi. Watch a director with his own unique spin on zombie and superhero movies get asked to, you know, do that again. (laughs) But don't worry, Feige's still serving up that sameness you crave, full of MCU comfort slop, like commercials for the next movie. You caused an incursion, and we're gonna fix it. (gasps) That's Clea from the comic books. I knew that. Action sequences that look worse than Marvel vs. Capcom. Centrist politics that pair subtle nods to gay rights with subtle nods to burning books with naughty words in them. And the latest variant of this universally hilarious joke. There was an incident with Spider-Man. <laughs> what man? Black agar, Baltagun. Hit a guy, hit it there. The Illuminati. Star-Lord. Who? I need you to be the Ant-Man. Is it too late to change the name? A Unimind. Uni, meaning one. Mind meaning mind. Oh, no, we heard you the first time. Terrible name. Oh, Doctor Strange. Oh, you're using the made-up names. Call themselves the Flag Smashers. Was that a new thing? Bad guys give themselves bad names? Your name is Taserface? Dr. Otto Octavius. (laughs) Wait, no, seriously, what's your actual name? (laughs) Gets funnier the more times you hear it, right? Witness a film that explores the limitless possibilities of the multiverse for one whole scene. Really? Can we go back to Paint World for a sec? No, okay, no. I don't know how. 
Okay, settle for the MCU's bogus journey across the multiverse, where the differences are all cosmetic. We go on red? The characters barely change. You know you hated me where I came from. And I bet secretly, my brother, you hated me here. And the plot devices are either literal convenience stores. Replay your significant memories now at a discounted price. Or even main characters like America, who just like her namesake, means well, but leaves a trail of destruction and fast food wherever she goes. Preferably pizza. Pizza balls. So if you only watch one film this year about a young woman traveling the multiverse to find their mother, where people learn to project themselves into their alternate timeline selves, and the poster looks like this. Please see everything everywhere all at once instead. I know a lot of you have been asking for an honest trailer for that one, so here it is. It's way better than Doctor Strange. There you go. Starring a quirked up goateed white boy with a sauce. I think you need a Snickers. You're kind of a witch when you're hungry. Citizen Starlight. It's more than time. Supreme Disappointment. When the stop, when the place. The dark hole wants a copy! The Time Traveler's ex-girlfriend. The Olsen's twins. Fox and Friends. Mom Spaghetti. I can do this all day, governor. Campbell's Lube. A bull as a China cop. And eyeball stuff. Doctor Strange in one alternate universe that's basically just the near future. Dreams of windows into the lives of our multiversal selves. So, it's now MCU canon that the dream you had without seeing your dad naked in the bathtub really happened. Sorry. <sighs> this episode was presented by Supercuts. The smarter, easier way to get a haircut. It's not just any haircut. It's Supercuts. Check in today on our mobile app or supercuts.com.